Come on, let's go, pig. Come on. Let's go. We're all all right today. Yeah, good piggy. This is Robert Young's hog house on a farm that used to have hundreds of pigs. Now there are thousands, about 3,600 so far, and maybe more to come. Nowadays, it's dog eat dog, it's big or get out. Uh, It's not geared for small farmers at all anymore. They're inquisitive little animals. The longer you're around them, the more inquisitive they get. Inquisitive, yes, but also very stinky. And therein lies the problem, which starts in massive manure pits under these hog houses. There, when that's full, there's over a million gallon in there. But the stink from hog houses and fields fertilized with that manure can get blown miles away to places where Young's life intersects with his neighbors, like Buckhart Estates, a subdivision where several residents tried to block Young's hog expansion and lost. Several neighbors here wouldn't speak on camera, so we went to Karen Hudson, an Illinois activist who's tried to help them and others fight the trend toward massive livestock farms. Basically, we have no local control in Illinois, and they have local control for garbage dumps that come down from Chicago, for low-level nuclear waste, but when a lagoon, one of the largest in Illinois is 56 acres, can move into my neighborhood and be about a half a mile from my home, I have no local control. And that is a public health impact that we need to take care of. Beyond smell, she says large manure lagoons threaten water supplies and public health and pit neighbor against neighbor. There are people who don't speak to each other to this day because it it basically divides the community in half. And it's, it's one of the worst things that can happen. Even so, Young stands by his decision to keep thousands of hogs. In America, right now, we have the freedom of your own thoughts without being confined to having to do what the other fellow tells you to do. And some people agree with him. Everybody's got to make a living doing something, and they all like them pork chops when they're sitting on their plates. They're townies. They should have stayed in the town. I am a city person who's moved to the country. I've been here for 30. 35 years, and we've been surrounded with livestock facilities all this time with no problem. It's quite another thing, she says, when thousands of pigs produce as much sewage as a small city. But Young just wants everyone to move on. I'm not going to hold any grudges. I mean, they're still my neighbors. Maybe they don't claim me, but I'll, but I'll claim them as neighbors. I don't know if they thought that we put a hog house up that we would be rolling in mega dollars or what. No, we've got 12 years to pay for a hog house that was over almost a million dollars. By that time, he'll be in his late 70s, when most people would be enjoying retirement. So why is he so determined to stay? Heritage, I guess, more than anything else. It's, it's my place, and I'm born here, I'm raised here. I know all the pretty near square foot, know where all the water lines run through the place at. And it's just home. A home he plans to fight for. Martha Irvin, Associated Press, Buckhart, Illinois.